Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing the $1,000 Sephora Fantasy Basket Tag. This tag was created by Emily Noel and I thought it was such a cool idea. I'm going to link her video down below for you guys. But basically from what I understand is you have $1,000 and you literally just get online at Sephora and you go through um, each category, see what you would like, just add whatever. And then at the end you kind of go through and see what you might actually keep and you know take out a few things and what you might actually buy. So I thought that this was really fun and I wanted to do it. So I do have um, Sephora before I pull it up here on my phone and I'll pop up each product I'm talking about either like right here or right here or something um, but believe it or not I don't have that many items I just have 10 items and that's because one product that I picked is ridiculously expensive <laughs> um, but we're gonna go ahead and just start and like I said I just was looking through every category just some things that really you know that I would like to try I'll be honest there's not really a lot of makeup in here there's a few makeup products but for the most part I feel like it's more skincare related um, so starting out with the first thing, it's the Drunk Elephant Anti-Pollution Sunshine, Sunshine Drops. I don't know if you guys remember, but I think it was last year a lot of people was talking about these. And basically you can take these drops and you can mix them in with like your foundation and just really bronze up the foundation or your skin. And this has really good reviews. It's got four and a half reviews. The only reason that I never really purchased it is because I did end up purchasing some of their skincare. And I'll be honest, I just wasn't a fan and it's not cheap. Um, so I was kind of always hesitant, but again, if I have $1,000 and I can spend it on whatever I want, I wanted to add this, but um, it says it's supposed to be a serum that defends against pollution and environmental stressors delivered with a bronzy glow like sunshine in a bottle without the damaging effects. Um, so it's for normal, dry, combination, and oily skin, and I do have oily skin, um, but I just really, really want to try this because like I said, when I remember when I watched those videos, I felt like it just added such a gorgeous, you know, bronze look to the skin or to any foundation, so I wanted to add it, and that was only $36, so definitely one of the cheaper items that I chose. Now, this next item is kind of expensive as well. This is the Foreo Blue Light Acne Treatment, and this is like, um, I have a Foreo um, Luna, the one for oily skin, it's blue, um, and I like that. I'll be honest, I don't use it every single day, but I haven't been seeing my esthetician since. I think the last time I seen her was like, Oh my gosh, was it February? It's been a while. It's been a while and I just don't plan on going back right now because if I don't really have to go out, um, I'm just not going to go. So um, this only had four stars, but I didn't want to read any of the reviews because if I do get this, I do want to try it out and, you know, give you guys my thoughts without other reviews kind of like, you know, weighing and changing my mind. But it says that it's a device that uses the dual power of laser focused blue LED light and T-sonic pulsations to address acne causing bacteria painlessly in as little as 30 seconds. And this is also for normal dry combination and oily skin. I've actually um, had these done at my esthetician, but it was like a full mask that you put on your entire face. Um, this one was on the expensive side, $149. Um, but again, it's just something that I really wanted to try. So I definitely wanted to put that one in there. Um, and then next is more skincare. <laughs> this is the Use to the People Superfood Antioxidant Cleanser. I really, really like this brand. I'm actually using one of their moisturizers right now that I recently hauled from Sephora. I think, oh man, it's been like two months ago now. I cannot believe we're almost through July. Um, but this is just a liquid cleanser and this does have pretty good re uh, reviews and stars too. It's almost four and a half stars, but it says it's an award-winning face wash with cold press antioxidants to remove makeup, prevent buildup in pores, and support skin's pH balance. So the only thing is I did read some of the reviews on this and some people said it just smelled like um, fragranced water. Um, but I have used my Origins cleanser for years and I just, I like to change it up, but I do feel like I always go back to the Origins cleanser. Um, for 8 ounce, this was only $36. It was the only size that they had in stock. Um, the 16 ounce, which is the refill size they didn't have in stock. Um, but again, this was just $36. And again, just skincare, into skincare so, since I'm not going to my esthetician. Um, and then I picked up this a makeup product. This is the Clinique Cheek Pop, and this is in Lunar Pop. Um, I believe it was Kathleen Lights. I was watching one of her videos where she recently used this, and it just looked like the like most beautiful, pretty natural highlighter. And I love the Clinique Cheap Pop blushes. They're one of my favorite blushes. It's actually one of the blushes that I have on today. Very natural, very easy to build up though um, and get better intensity. But I believe this was limited edition and then they've brought it back like this in like a permanent collection. But this is $32.50. I thought that was a little bit more on the expensive side for Clinique, Clinique especially for a highlighter. Um, but the highlighter is huge. So um, this also has really good reviews and almost has four and a half stars. I think it looks like four... And I don't know, 
a little bit more than four and a half. Um, but it's supposed to be a long wearing silky smooth highlighter for a soft luminous glow. And it's supposed to be very natural. I really like natural highlighters. I'm not super big into like that stark highlighter. Um, so I definitely want to pick this one up. I don't necessarily need any more highlighters, but again, I wanted to um, add that one to my cart. So again, if I can just add whatever. <laughs> All right, next is the Natasha Denona Mini Retro Eyeshadow Palette. I actually wanted this during the last um, sale, the 20% off sale this spring, but it was out of stock, and then I think it did come back in stock again, and I did get the email, but by the time I clicked on the email, it went out of stock again. But it is in stock right now, so I actually might go ahead and buy this um, after this video. But it's only $25. I'm not a huge fan, to be honest, of Natasha Denona eyeshadows. I've tried the Tropic palette. I believe that's what it's called. It's like the blue one. And then I've tried another one of her minis. And believe it or not, I've returned them both. I just, I don't know. I feel like they're very expensive and just not my favorite. But there was something just about this color scheme. It's got like this gorgeous bronzy gold, this gorgeous silver, and just... Again, just looking at it across there, I thought it was just such a beautiful eyeshadow palette, so I wanted to add it. And this one does actually have good reviews. It's got four and a half stars as well, so for 25 bucks, like I said, I just feel like I couldn't pass that one up. Now, for the product that really just, again, takes up literally half of the $1,000 is the Dyson Airwrap Styler. Um, I wasn't, I'm not really someone that like, I looked at the Stressing the Straightener when it recently launched and even like the hair dryer. I think that was the first thing that ever launched was the hair dryer on its own. And this is like $549. Like that's so ridiculous, but it is something I've always wanted. It is the complete set. It comes with like the hair dryer, the round brush, two other brushes, and then like three air wrap. And I've watched a lot of videos and I feel like a lot of people do really like this. They like that, you know, it's supposed to be better for your hair. But what I like about the air wrap and how it curls is how like bouncy and still voluminous the curls look. So that's one of the reasons that I have always wanted this. I've never broke down and got it. Um, but again, I can put whatever I want in my cart because um, this is a fantasy. So I did add that one on here. And again, that one does take up quite a bit of the thousand dollars. That's over um, literally half. So um, now moving on, I did add a sunscreen. This is the Super Goop Unseen Sunscreen. A lot of people have talked about this this year. I do really like my Clinique um, sunscreen that I use on my face every single day. But this one is the natural finish one. I believe they have like a matte one as well. But I've seen a lot of people mention this one saying that it worked really well on their oily skin. It's a totally invisible, weightless, scentless, and makeup gripping daily primer with SPF 40. Um, so I thought that this could kind of work as both like um, my sunscreen and my primer. Because even though I use my Clinique... Um, I've already forgot what that's called. It comes in the green tube. Even though I use it, um, I still use a primer afterwards. I just let that kind of sink into my skin. It's got like a tint to it. This doesn't have a tint or anything like that, and this is $34. But again, I've just heard a lot of people talk about this sunscreen this year and say that it is, uh, makes an excellent primer because it really grips a whole of your makeup. But then it does also have the sunscreen in it. Um, then I do have two foundations, and in all honesty, I don't need any more foundations, but I don't know if I just missed when this launched or what, but this is the Bite Beauty Changemaker Supercharged Micellar Foundation, and this is $39.50. This had pretty good reviews, too. It had, like, four stars, four and a quarter, um, and again, I didn't want to read too many reviews because I didn't want it to, if I was to get this foundation, affect what I thought about it, um, but... It says that this is supposed to be a clean, long-wearing foundation with gentle micellar technology that mimics skin's texture for a natural, flawless finish. Medium coverage, and it does say that it is for normal, dry combination and oily skin types. So, again, it's a product that I do really want to try. And like I said, I haven't really seen anybody talk about this foundation yet. But I just, I don't know, I love foundation, so not that I need any more. I just did a... Um, Posted that video, that foundation declutter. I'd filmed that way back, but you guys seen how many foundations I got rid of. It was crazy. And then lastly, this was a, another hugely expensive product. At least I think it is. It's the Cojun Doe Aqua Foundation. This was $77, but I've had this in my loves for honestly, I feel like the last few years now. And I just cannot make myself pay $77 for a foundation. Um... It says it's supposed to be medium coverage. It's for normal, dry, and combination skin. It says have a natural finish, and it's a high-definition, long-wearing mineral foundation with a natural luminous finish. I usually don't like um, foundations that say they have a luminous finish, but I've seen so many people use this foundation, and it always looks so gorgeous on their skin. So I wanted to give it a try, so I added it to my basket as well. But again, the $77 price tag is 
quite steep for me. <laughs> All right, guys, that was everything in my fantasy basket. So now I'm just going to go through the basket really quick and see what I feel like I would actually purchase and what I would probably just kick out of my basket. So starting out with the Drunk Elephant Anti-Pollution Sunshine Drops. I really, really like these. And like I said, last year I seen so many people adding it into their foundation. And it just left such a beautiful bronzed glow to the skin. And I feel like this is just the perfect time to be trying out products like that. So that is definitely something that I want for $36. I feel like that's not bad, so I feel like, yeah, I would definitely keep that. Um, next is the Foreo Blue Light Acne Treatment. Like I said, I really am into skincare, and I I do want to try this product out because I'm not seeing my esthetician, but a part of me knows that, well, I don't know, but I hope in a few months that things clear up and I can go back to seeing her. So I feel like I would just only use this, like, right now, but then at the same time, wouldn't this be a good time to try this product out since we are all staying at home? Um, so... I don't know. I don't know. I think I would let this one go. Um, just because like, I'd probably keep it if it was more like $100. But for $150, I just, I, I feel like I just wouldn't get the use out of it. Like I said, I would like to have it, but I don't need it. So, all right. Moving on to the Use of the People Superfood Antioxidant Cleanser. Um, I really like this brand. Everything that I've tried them in, from them has worked so extremely well. I'm always looking for a new cleanser because I haven't found one that I feel like I love as much as my Origins one. So I do want to add that one and keep that one in my basket because I do really feel like I would use it and I do think that I would like it. So like I said, I've liked everything else so far. All right, next is the Clinique Powder Pop Flower Highlighter. Like I said, I love, love how beautiful and natural this looks, especially when I've seen Kathleen use it. Do I need another highlighter though? Definitely not. Um, like I said, I've really just accumulated a lot of highlighters again since my last blush and highlighter declutter. And honestly, it's getting to that point again when I look at my drawer, I'm just grabbing the same highlighter because I don't feel like looking through all of them. So I don't really feel like I need this. I do want it, but I don't think I need it. So I think I want to let that go so I can get the Natasha Denona Mini Retro Eyeshadow Palette. I'll probably buy this right now after this video because I have had my eye on it. Now that it's back in stock, I definitely feel like I need to pick it up. I'm hoping that these work a little bit better for me than her other eyeshadows. So I definitely want to get that one. And again, that one's only $25. Now the Dyson. I want this. I do really want it. Like I said, I wanted it since it launched, but $549 for, you know, like I know this is a whole set. You get, like I said, the round brush, the actual hair dryer, and several different sizes of the wrap, but I just don't feel like I would use this every single day, and I don't really know if I would have the time. It does actually take a long time to curl my hair, even with a regular curling iron, because I do have like thinner hair but I have a lot of hair so it takes a really long time I know that this is supposed to be better for your hair but I just I like I said if I was going to be using it every single day or even if this come with like the straightener attachment I would probably justify the $549 but I just I can't justify that for like I said a product that I feel like I wouldn't have the time to use every single day because I only dry my hair when I wash my hair which is every three to four days so again you're probably looking about um, once a week that I wash my hair or like twice a week that I wash my hair so I just I don't feel like I would use it enough um, I really like their vacuum cleaners though I have one it works extremely well um, I would totally repurchase one of their vacuum cleaners because again I'm using it two to three times a week and I'm using it you know in several rooms of the house and it's just but I just don't feel like I would actually use the air wrap styler I don't know one day one day I might purchase it but for now I think it's gonna have to stay out of my cart and just stay in my love section <laughs> and be like definitely more of like a wish list product all right next is a super goop unseen sunscreen definitely want to keep this because i definitely feel like sunscreen is really important and any product that would definitely take another step out of my routine like the primer this is supposed to be a sunscreen primer i'm all about and like i said i wanted to try this out i know a lot of people's talked about it this year so i do feel like it sounds really good so i definitely keep that in there and it's only 34 dollars so all right, I do want to keep one of the foundations, and it's between the Bite Beauty Foundation and the Cojun Doe Foundation. And in all honesty, I think I'm going to keep the Bite Beauty one because, again, I can't justify spending $77 on that foundation. If the foundation said it was a matte finish, I'd probably go for it, but where it does say it's a luminous finish, I do feel like maybe it wouldn't work for my skin type as well. And even though I've wanted to try it out for the last few years, again, I just cannot justify the $77. So I think I would let the Cojun Doe one down and get the Bite Beauty one. I just, I don't know, that one sounds a little bit like more up my alley and more for my skin. So I think that I would definitely keep that one. But yeah, this was really fun. This is a lot of fun. Um, I really enjoyed filming this video. I think it's a cool way to see, you know, 
what people's like wish list would be, what they would like really like to have um, if they did have the thousand dollars to just, you know what I'm saying? Like Emily said, you don't have to worry about anything else. This is just a thousand dollars. You can spend whatever. So I thought this is really fun. And um, yeah, I would love to know if you guys had a thousand dollars, what would you guys spend it on? Um, and just let me know down below. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.